Hello everyone, I'm very honored to be here with you to attend one of the most top conference in machine learnings. And today I'm going to share our work to use. And what I'm trying to do is to make you understand our intuitions and motivations in our papers. I'm Yu Neng Zhuang. This is a joint work with Zhi Ming Chen, Professor Chuan Ru Wang, and Professor Ming Feng Cai, our advisors. So at first, I'm going to introduce you what is the personalized recommendations. The personalized recommendations is to provide the list of ranked items to each user that mainly based on their historical interactions with, with their preferring, preferring items. So one of the most technical common way is that to project each users and items into their own embeddings and all these embeddings can form a unique distributions. And the qualities of the personalized recommendations will depend on those generated unique distributions. However, none of the previous art trying to discuss the embedded distributions for personalized recommendations. So in our work, we claim that the proper distributions will finally lead to a better recognition result. And it seems to be an intuitive way to approach the goal by setting the constraint on learning distributions. However, it costs lots of computational resource to directly set the constraint. So far, it seems possible to maintain that the appropriate distributions will occur a better recognition result. So in order to observe the embedding distributions, we plot out the learn PDF from BPR among three different data sets. We then observe that the learned distributions from BPR are right skew and the attempts to follow the skew normal distributions. As everyone knows, BPR is designed for maximizing the AUC with its special likelihood functions to gain a better ranking result. And this trivially infers that if we can modify the large areas under the PDF curve, then we can get a better ranking result. So the questions can be transferred into maximize the probability of exact UIJ. And under the assumptions of skew normal distributions, there are two methods to maximize the probabilities. The first one is to shift the distributions rightward to enlarge the probabilities. However, the overshifting problems uh, will cause the overfitting problems. And the second one is to enlarge the shape parameters alpha the skew normal distributions. As you can see at the right hand side of the pictures, alpha is positively proportional to skewness values, we say common here. And with the greater skewness value, we can see the probabilities of the exact UIJ being larger. Therefore, a greater shape parameter alpha will lead to a better uh, will lead to a large probabilities of exact UIJ. So we may now assume that the prior distributions of the exact UIJ follow the skewness normal distributions in order to leverage the features of skew normal distributions. So to this end, we now try to recase the likelihood functions to meet both goal one and goal two. And we recase the likelihood functions referring to the individual's probabilities that a user U preferring item I to item J, then we name it as a skewness optimizations. And the likelihood functions is motivated by the skewness normal distributions. And with the design of the likelihood functions, the equation six shows how we transfer our motivations into the optimization criterions at skewness optimizations. And the skewness optimizations not only modify the pairwise relations, but also maximize the skewness value of the distributions. So in the rest of the presentations, I'm going to briefly explain why skewness optimizations can reach to optimize the skewness value. And in this work, we provide the lemma to, to, to describe it. And the working flow of the derivations shows at the bottom of the slide. Since we provide 
on the skewness optimization is positively proportional to the shape parameters at the first stage of improvement. And the second stage also provides that the shape parameters is also positively proportional to the skewness values. So therefore, we can claim that while we maximize skewness optimizations, it also maximizes the skewness value. And the other important thing, things that related to this ranking result is AUC. And here we take micro AUC as an example. According to the definitions of the micro AUCs, it can be derived to the probabilities of exact UIJs. So by lemma one, skewness optimizations can maximize the skewness values. And this can also refer to that while well, we maximizing skewness optimizations, it's simultaneously maximizing the AUC. And as you can see, while well, alpha approach to infinities, the AUC approach to one. So there's no need to set any constraint on skewness optimizations while we are training. And for our experiment part, in our experiment, we we'll choose five different public data sets uh, with various of domains, and we transfer user item interactions into implicit feedbacks. And here we conduct a top end recommendation task to test the performance of the skewness optimizations. And to this turn, the performance of the skewness optimizations. It is also worth to mention that skewness optimizations win against heartbreak. And then GCF without explore, exploiting high order informations. And the figure shows in the slide provides the sensitivity and analyze of the best performance. And the observed tendency provides the tuning strategies for training the new data sets of the skewness optimizations. And this figure shows the different distributions as skewness optimizations and the skew normal distribution with the fixed local parameters and the score parameters. And since skewness optimizations also involve the regularization terms, it is not likely to uh, exactly fit the skewness normal distributions. So in conclusions, we can say that skewness optimizations provides a provides to analyze the personalized recommendation problems via the prob probability distribution perspective. So for our future work, we intend to investigate how to explore the higher order informations in skewness optimizations, both on the personalized recommendation systems and other various novel collaborate filtering tasks. And in the distance, we have released our code on our GitHub. And skewness optimizations is implemented on the framework of SMORE. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you.